All right, back with Mizzou, and I have a crap ton of these Pitfire games. I think I got six. Uh, it could be possibly that the um, you know Spitfires are really good. <laughs> yeah, not at all. And he's firing a Spitfire 1A, and I'm probably going to say that he probably has the uh, special pilot that goes with this. But he doesn't know. He maybe not. He hasn't flown this very much, so maybe he doesn't have that uh, pilot that was given away with it. However, it doesn't really matter. This plane is already stupid good here. Uh, he does have a crap ton, uh, eight 7.7s. I was going to say 7.62s, but if I would have said that, people would have corrected me. And you know how I like to be corrected. <laughs> so, uh, with the machine guns on this, of course, they they do run. Yeah, they're they're kind of not always the easiest thing to play. Sometimes uh, when they're all hitting, it's fine. They don't overheat real quick. Um, it is a Two, four. Wow, there's a lot of human players on this on both teams, which is always nice to see. Uh, this, of course, is the EU server. Pulls around on the BF109, picks up Delon, and they've got the center objective, which is always nice. Picks up the I16I and White Death 99 Hero. Uh, I'm assuming he's probably Finnish. If you don't know who the White Death is, uh, go look it up. Uh, he is ridiculous. Picks up the I-53 DM-4 and Radic. He's pretty much cleared out the center objective. Uh, now he's got the heavy fighter here and the bow fighter. And JZ- Ah, oh, fuck you guys and your names. Damn it. Can't you just, you know, shorten that just a little bit? Maybe to just JZEV? I get it. I get it. European, right? Uh, two to zero right now. Uh, they're up center. Of, they they have the uh, uh, advantage here. The blue the blue good guys. Uh, the red baddies are currently dropping like flies. Picks up lots a lot in the SC100. That plane can be a pain in the ass uh, with its rear gunners uh, and its forward firing 20 mils. Uh, pulls around on him. Uh, yeah, here we go. Almost got the SC100. Ah, uh, there we go. Like I said, once you get all those those cannon, those uh, sh or not cannon, machine gun shells hitting, uh, they do run through pretty quickly. Here. Picks up the uh, I-16, the late model one. Oh, picks up the I-53 coming in. Takes a big punch to the face. His engine's back in again. And like I said, there's pretty much nothing he can do. Uh, the I-53 <laughs> has no chance. Uh, not against the Spitfire. He, of course, has used his consumable for m more turning because he didn't already have enough turn. <laughs> That's why this plane kind of becomes a little ridiculous, like I said, with these new consumables. He's dodging left, right, right, left. Nope. You're making me dizzy here, Mizzou. Pulls down, picks up the bow fighter. Um, yeah, we are sitting at 3-2 right now with 135 to 80 lead. And Mizzou is already at 7,400. I'm just surprised that sheer number of human pilots uh, that are playing right here. Picks up the SE-100 again. Um, yeah, he's got no chance at all. Uh, it takes forever, of course, for these guns to overheat. Uh, so he just keeps spraying and spraying until he is dead. Pulls down, picks up the I-53. Uh, he seems to be more interested in just hunting Mizzou here for some reason. However, like I said, with I-53, uh, he uh, kind of lost track, apparently. Uh, maybe he realized his mistake the last time uh, dealing with the Spitfire 1A is not easy. This plane is fucking kind of ridiculous. Uh, it was given away. You guys probably should have been able to pick it up if you've been watching. Um, when the, when the, the 2.0 came out, they were giving these things away. Uh, however, you didn't get the real special pilot in it. It doesn't really matter uh, because this is already a pretty good plane without that pilot, but the pilot just simply made it even more ridiculous. Comes in on the bullfighter. Well, maybe he does have that pilot. Yeah. I'll have to ask him. Pulls back down here, finds out the BSH-2, puts a couple rounds into him. Doesn't quite get all of it. However, here comes the specialist. Ah, yes. And into the turn fight he goes. Does not get a chance. The P-40 had dropped on him. Um, however, like I said, with the 3-2 advantage right now, 306 to 195, uh, we're not going to have to worry about it. Oh, there we go. Thank you 
for not um, thanks for jumping right back in again because that would have fucking made me dizzy picks up the BF109E he's down a little too low for what he's doing uh, dealing with something like this at 800 meters uh, the BF109 is a good plane however um, you are currently in uh, Spitfire that's not so good uh, he's got a few people on his tail uh, they've all kind of maybe realized that this is not <laughs> where you want to be. Picks up the, uh, ah, there he goes. Picks up the DM4. He's got two specialist planes. Picks up the Lag 3 and the I-153 uh, right off the bat, uh, which, of course, are both human pilots. Yeah, what a quick turnaround this has been. Picks up the P-40 going through. Drops down. Come on. Round he goes. P-40's fucked. I don't think he knows it yet. He will shortly. <laughs> Down he goes. Picks up Amma. Amma. Oh, fuck me. 415k for the personal points here. Um, yeah, this is one of those kind of games where it's just like, yeah, this this is always nice here. Bullfighter doesn't seem to give a fuck. He finally gets his rear gunners into play. And Mizzou is sitting at 16 health. Takes it to the face. Uh, hopefully he's only died the second time now. So it shouldn't take too long for him to get back in there. He's already at 15k almost. Yeah. Come on, come on. We're sitting here with... Yeah, it's something. It starts with an E. That's all you guys are getting. I'm not, I'm not even going to try. He's playing the BF-110. Ah, here we go. Mizzou's back in. So it's always nice to have that center airfield. You're able to spawn right here. Uh, and he starts to work over the SE-100 again. Oh, right on through. All that HP. Pulls back down. They picked up the BF-109. Took it to the shorts. Uh, and now he's got the red baddies currently spawning in here. Uh, Ignatius and the BF-110C6. Of course, could always be a pain, but he's way too low. Uh, poor bot did not go to bot school. If he went to bot school, he would realize his mistake. Uh, however, this... <laughs> this one's the F3. Uh, he's trying his damnedest. Uh, but like I said, with the Spitfire 1A, this is not a plane that you want to fuck with uh, at all. Um, not if you're uh, flying something, unless you're flying something very similar. Uh, this plane just does uh, wonders. Mizzou, I think, asked me, actually asked me if this was a uh, considered seal clubbing. Yes, Mizzou, this is seal clubbing. <laughs> Picks up the ace, puts him up to 18,000 on the... Uh, personal points. Squall line of course is up uh, and they are sitting at uh, there's at least a few coming back in here. So he has a few more shit to shoot down. He's pulled in on the BF-109. The BF-109 is like, oh fuck. Thanks for the games guys. GG. However, there's a fucking crap ton of specialist planes in this game. Wow. Picks up the lag 3-4. Round he goes. Lag 3-4 is actually a pretty good plane. However, uh, not against this kind of uh, your firepower. Uh, Spitfire 1A is a beast. Picks up the BF-49E. He's got the Bullfighter here. Bullfighter, of course, is Jzev. Um, yeah, he is getting, finding out exactly what eight 7.7s are going to do. Nails him. He's got one left. The SE-100 is right on his rear. Uh, however, pulls into the vertical, and Mizzou's like, nah, I got this. Puts him up to 24k in the Spitfire 1A. Nice game. Uh, thanks for sending it, Mizzou.